Welcome to the Houses of Parliament. Now, in this clip, we're going to be looking at one of the oldest parliamentary buildings, Westminster Hall. Now, Westminster Hall has played a very important role in the history of the nation for over 900 years. Most visitors to the Houses of Parliament pass through this hall, and running alongside it is the Westminster Hall debating chamber, where parliamentary work continues every day through adjournment, debates and questions. Now, the sheer size of the hall is very impressive indeed. At 20 metres wide and 73 metres long, it was the largest hall in England, possibly even in Europe, at the time it was completed in 1099. Now, the height of the walls has been altered and the original roof has been replaced by order of King Richard II sometime in the 1390s, and it still survives to this day. Now, using a hammer beam or cantilever construction, the roof is a magnificent piece of engineering. The oak beams span the entire width of the hall without any need for supporting columns. And the decoration on the beams and on the stonework all proclaim the glory of the king that commissioned them. Now, the law courts sat here between the 12th century and the 19th century. And over those centuries, the courts that used the hall changed, as did the structures created to house them. It was within these walls that the English legal system largely developed. Now, perhaps the most significant trial to take place here was that of King Charles I, who was accused of treason in January 1649. Now, although Charles didn't recognise the authority of that court and, as such, refused to take off his hat, he was nevertheless found guilty and sentenced to death. Other trials that have taken place here and are also commemorated include Guy Fawkes, William Wallace and Thomas More. Now, Westminster Hall survived when the old palace of Westminster burnt down in a fire in 1834. Now, following that fire, the architect Charles Barry included the old hall in the designs for the new parliament building, but he added the steps at the back and the south window. Fire raged here again in May 1941 during the Second World War bombings, which destroyed the House of Commons debating chamber. So the south window was replaced with stained glass to commemorate those members and staff that had died during that war and just beneath it is a memorial to those who died during both world wars. Ceremonial events have always been part of the history of this hall. Today it hosts speeches from visiting heads of state or parliamentary addresses from both houses to the monarch. Now the monarch or very occasionally prime ministers are brought here to lie in state after they've died so people can pay their respects before the funeral. As I said before, most people pass through this hall, public tours start from here, and even exhibitions happen right where I'm standing. Thank you for watching. This clip is part of a series about the work and history of Parliament. If you'd like to find out more about the work of Parliament, or how to arrange a visit, please go to our website, www.parliament.uk.